Hi, and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for stopping by for this thrifted decor flip video. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Now let's get started. First, I wanna show you what I got. I got this bamboo placemat at Goodwill for 99 cents. I got two of them. And I didn't necessarily want them for a placemat, but I loved the texture and the colors of them. I also have this thrifted frame that really needed some work. And in the end, you will see that I didn't end up doing anything with this or I didn't show you what I did with it <laughs> because I made a disaster of it. And I also have this, um, it's like a Bath and Body Works candle holder, but I liked the color of it. It just needed to be cleaned. And also this little glass vase. And these shells, I thought I could do something with them. Now, kind of the theme to this video is um, just decor pieces I want for my master bedroom that I am giving a makeover right now. This mirror is one that I had. It used to be wood and I painted it silver, but now I want it to be a different color because I am completely changing our master bedroom kind of style. So to start out with, I'm just taking this plastic bag just to cover the mirror when I spray paint. And I find it's easier when you have like oddly shaped things or mirrors like this to um, use double-sided sticky tape. And that's what you see me doing here. And then just kind of cutting the plastic to the shape of the mirror. It's just easier for me. That's what I did last time when I painted it silver. And then the spots that um, I couldn't really get pushed under the frame, I just took some tape and um, put it around the plastic. And since I couldn't find the spray paint color I wanted, I'm going to be layering a few. So I'm starting with this really dark brown and I'm not going to give it a super dark coat or a um, super um, consistent like solid coat because it's just kind of, I want, the brown to peek through, I guess. I just love the shape of this mirror. It's actually one, I believe, if I remember correctly, my father-in-law made it a long time ago and it was handed down to us. So after I use the dark brown paint, I'm using this textured, it's kind of like sand spray paint. This, <laughs> I can't do a good job when using the spray paint because it just comes out really, really weird. So it's not a good even coat. It just kind of like splotchy, but I just wanted the texture because it doesn't really give like a good, um, like solid coat for color. Like if you're going for color, you don't want to use this. Um, so then I am using this caramel color. I really liked this color, but, um, it isn't exactly what I wanted. So that's why I'm layering it. I wanted more of like an um, like a burnt umber color or an amber color, maybe like terracotta. So <laughs> after I used that caramel color, I used this um, copper spray paint, which is really frustrating because as you can see, it wasn't working very well. It kind of was like spitting. Um, so it left these splotches all over the mirror, which I was kind of disappointed, but I'm going to go with it and see if it really bothers me once I have it up in our room. And here's my favorite part. I love removing the tape and the masking off of the mirrors and stuff after I've painted. I just like the reveal. And here it is, I'm happy with it. I'm not sure that I'm 100% happy with it, but like I said, I'm gonna live with it for a couple days up on the wall. And if you're interested in seeing my bedroom makeover, here's a little sneak peek, then um, I will have that over on my other channel, Life, Love, and Endless Laundry. So I would love for you to join me over there as well. That I'm hoping it will be up in the next week or two. For the next little decor piece that's going in my bedroom, I'm just using this tray that I had. I got it from the thrift store quite a while ago, but I didn't want it silver anymore, so I'm spray painting it this matte black. 
super simple, but I love doing stuff like this. It doesn't cost very much and it just, it does add, I don't know, it adds a little bit of character to your room. So for this next one, I am taking just one of the shells and adding these metallic paints onto them. I'm going to leave this one because I love the colors and um, I don't know. I, I just love everything about it. I think it's going to go great in my room because I kind of want like also a coastal theme in different colors than you would think. So I'm just taking this metallic gold and I'm taking the sponge and dabbing it onto the shell. And it kind of reminded me of those like decor pieces and stuff that you see at like Home Goods or at home or TJ Maxx, but it was super simple, super cheap and kind of fun. And here's that candle holder. I did wash it out, but that for some reason wouldn't come out. Maybe if I use some baking soda, I might try that next, but I'm going to use that bamboo placemat um, just to give this little vase or candle holder a little bit of texture. And the color of this is perfect. It's going to go really well in my master bedroom with the colors that I chose in there. So right now I'm just measuring out the, um, the bamboo pieces onto the candle holder. And at first when I started doing this, I wanted to cover the whole um, jar. But then after I did it, I wanted a little bit of that um, really pretty color to peek through. So I just cut this with some scissors. It was super simple to cut in that direction. <laughs> and then um, I'm just taking a pencil and marking it where I want to cut it to make it shorter but cutting in this direction was a little bit harder. You probably want um, like wire snips or something. This is probably dulling my scissors really bad. <laughs> so anyway, this is kind of what I wanted it to look like. So <laughs> I just went ahead and cut a little bit more off the... Um, the height of it because I just I really like the color of that candle holder and I totally meant for this video to come out earlier this week but I don't know I have so many video ideas and things that I've started I have like three videos that I've started and just haven't finished I don't know maybe it's just me tell me are you guys like that where you have like a million ideas and you start them all but you don't necessarily finish them all. <laughs> I'm like that with cleaning too. I just, I can't get one thing done. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm a multitasker, but I have a hard time finishing things. <laughs> so I'm just taking that placemat and I'm using some hot glue and attaching it to the candle holder. And I just love it. Super simple again and really inexpensive. I just think it adds a punch of color and texture and it's on the tray that we spray painted and there's a little shell. I think it's so pretty. And for this jar, I originally wanted to paint it a different color but then decided against it and I'm just going to be adding these cool rocks that were my grandma's and again it just adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of interest with the different colors and I thought it would look really cute on a similar tray to like the one that I spray painted like holding keys or you know you could throw your wallet on there and I just I think it's so pretty so let me know what you guys think and like I said if you want to see my bedroom reveal head on over to my other channel and subscribe over there 
Thank you all so much for your love and support and your sweet comments. I just really adore all of you and appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.